Hello and welcome back to another live webinar video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the appearance and advanced branding feature. From the homepage, you'll need to schedule a new webinar. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have already created a webinar event. As you can see, the layout is now different and we have a more detailed basic settings tab. Here you have updated icons with scheduled permanent and evergreen rooms. You can name your event here and the event URL is shown below. Now moving on to the appearance section, we have the page templates. So from now on, you can give your event pages an individual look. You can customize the colors and the background or also insert a logo to emphasize your brand image. You can decide to not use any templates as well. Choose from the save templates in the dropdown here, or you can also design a new template. For this tutorial, I will be using a page template which I have prepared. In this case, I am selecting manage and not design a new template. You will then be able to give your template a name. I have called this template live webinar appearance. You have five pages in the top bar. Event not yet started, registration, after registration, event has ended and leave page URL. On the right hand side of the page, you can change the layout and the background color and add an image if you prefer. You can add up to eight different items of content elements such as images, plain text, YouTube and Vimeo links and external URLs. The addition of adding an agenda, document or empty blocks to your page could really make them stand out if created properly. This layout can be found on each subsequent page. We're currently on the event not yet started page and on this page you can customize it for the participants that visit before the event starts. It is only available for scheduled events with the restricted access option active. If you haven't set up a registration form, the option to create a form can be found in the basic settings section of the dashboard. On the registration page, you can customize the page only for events that use the form to gather data about participants. To enable this form, you can visit the events registration section. The after registration tab will display a page after signing up for the event. It's only available for the events that use the form with the registration mode enabled. Registration mode can be found in the settings of the form on this page. In this tab, this is where the event has ended lives. You will be able to create a personalized page after your event has finished. It's only available for scheduled events with restricted access option active. You can follow the same method as previously mentioned. And finally, there is the live page URL. You can create a dedicated page for your attendees and this will redirect users after the session has ended. You can set your own URL in the advanced options section. Because you're awesome and you'd like our content, consider tapping on the subscribe button to keep up to date with all our latest tips, features and content. Help that algorithm along and like the video if you found it helpful. Moving on, the content elements are here. You can add a YouTube link directly to the page by simply copying and pasting the link that you would like. Adding a Vimeo link is equally as simple as dragging and dropping. Always remember to save your work periodically. It's a good habit to have so you don't lose any previous hard work. If you want to have an empty block to space out the page, you can also resize it by using the drag and drop buttons here. Your finished pages would look a little something like this once they are complete. Are you still confused about how to use the feature? Well, you shouldn't be after that tutorial. Catch you in the next one.